Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Sans Asha. Today we will see how to crochet jellyfish keychain. We will be starting with the slip knot. Here we make a slip knot. After slip knot, we will make 3 chain crochet stitches. 1, 2 and 3. Okay, now we will join first and last stitch with the slip stitch. See, here I am taking, uh, I am making a slip stitch to join two stitches. Okay, now see we get a very tiny bit circle in between. Okay, now we will be making 12 double crochet stitches. Each stitch we will make by passing a needle from inside of that circle. See, I am making a double crochet stitch. And now I will be passing my needle from inside of that circle. There it goes. So for all 12 stitches, 12 double crochet stitches each time I will be passing my needle from inside of the circle and I will be making each double crochet stitch. I will just complete, complete this and show it to you. If any of you want to refer tutorial video for how to take a double crochet stitch, link is already given in description. I have already placed a tutorial video for how to take a double crochet stitch. It is with written notes as usual. So you can refer to that uh, tutorial video also. I am showing here also a bit slow. But if you want, you can refer the video. I will just complete this 12 double crochet stitches. And uh, I'll just show you how it looks, the first uh, round, how it looks. Here I have completed our first round. Okay. To complete it, I'll just join first and last stitch with the slip stitch. Then my first round is complete. Here I make a slip stitch. See, now my first round is complete. Okay. Now for second round, we will make two chain crochet stitches in each single stitch. Okay. Two chain crochet stitches in each single stitch all around the circle. Then when we reach end, we will join first and the last stitch with the slip stitch. Okay. To complete round, we will always join first and last stitch with the slip stitch. So just remember that. And try to put a marker in the first stitch. So you come to know that uh, from here you have started the round. Uh, so Because later it becomes a bit confusing. Please ignore background noises. My kids are playing. I will complete this round and I will show it to you. Just remember we are making two single crochet stitches in each single stitch. I will just complete this and I will show it to you. See this is how it looks after completion. And as usual first and last tip, uh, stitch we will join it with the slip stitch. This step is common for completing all the round. Now, uh, we will make 4 rounds. Okay, and pattern for four, all 4 rounds is going to be same. We are going to make 1 single crochet stitch in each single stitch for all 4 rounds. Remember, 1 single crochet stitch in each single stitch for all 4 rounds. Okay, and as usual, when round is complete, we will join first and last stitch with the slip stitch. Okay, so this is how we will be making 4 rounds. I will just make it and I will show it to you how it looks.
so this is how it looks after completing four rounds okay it has almost taken a uh, we are making now head of that jellyfish so half of it is done now to make it a complete ball or um, uh, complete it mm -hmm. what we will do now we will make six rounds okay and for all six round again pattern is going to be same for four continuous stitches we will make one single crochet stitch in each stitch so like first stitch we will make uh, single crochet stitch second stitch we will make single crochet stitch third stitch again we will make single crochet stitch and fourth stitch also we will make single crochet stitch and then we will skip fifth stitch in every round we will skip fifth stitch and again for four continuous stitches we will make one single crochet stitch in each single stitch for four continuous stitches then we will skip fifth stitch so this pattern we are going to continue for all six rounds i'll just complete it and i'll show it to you as we go forward with our rounds so like it is taking a shape of a ball and slowly slowly that opening is getting reduced and it is getting closed so don't forget to fill it with fillers as you go on making rounds fill fillers also because by end it becomes very difficult because space is like very small so we can't uh, put fillers in it or it becomes difficult to uh, fill it with fillers so as we go on making rounds go on filling the fillers also and if you want to attach like eyes or make a smile i have made see the eyes and smile it's completely up to you okay so i'll just complete it and i'll show you now see by end of the sixth round are uh, like it's almost closed that head is almost closed a very little space is left and now whatever stitches are left what we will do we will make one single crochet stitch in one stitch and after that we will skip next stitch, uh, stitch. so it's like every alternate uh, stitch we will make one single crochet stitch and next stitch we will go on skipping it so this is how it looks after completing it takes a shape of complete ball okay now we will make that curl part okay we will make it separately and attach it to our head now for that curl part of frill sorry frill part first we will mix frill part and then the curls come so for frill first uh, we will make uh, we will take a, a slip stitch then we will make three chain crochet stitches then join first and the last stitch with the slip stitch okay we get a tiny bit circle and earlier we made 12 double crochet stitches each time passing a needle from inside that circle now we will make 15 double crochet stitches each time passing a needle from inside of that circle 15 okay so now we are making 15 double crochet stitches each time passing a needle from inside of that circle um, i'll just complete it and show it to you see i've completed my circle and like i will join my first and last stitch with the slip stitch to complete the round okay now the frill part come for that first we will make two chain crochet stitches one two okay now we will make two double crochet stitches in one single stitch one and two both double crochet stitches i am making in one single stitch okay and next stitch also i will make two double crochet stitches in one single stitch one and two okay 
after that i will make two chain crochet stitches one two and i'll join it with the same stitch where i made uh, previous two dub, uh, double crochet stitches with the slip stitch now first frill is complete we will go forward for the second one same process we have to do all round the circle and make all the frills okay i'll just complete it and i'll show it to you how it looks so this is how it looks uh, after completion and this middle circle we will join it and to the bottom of our head so we will just stitch it up okay so it is it gets stuck to bottom of our head see this is how it comes now we will make those curls of uh, jellyfish just attach a yarn whichever yarn you want to attach and make 20 chain crochet stitches we will make five curls so this is the first one make 20 chain crochet stitches once we are done with the 20 chain crochet stitches skip starting two stitches and from third stitch from third stitch make five double crochet stitches in each single stitch okay five double crochet stitches in each single stitch and when you complete just by your hand turn it around like a spiral uh, turns give uh, make it spiral i'll just complete it and show you final piece how it looks and attach your keychain to it it's all completed so this is how a jellyfish looks so if you have liked the video please like comment share and please please subscribe youtube channel sans asha i'm coming up with many more videos thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe thank you